Child Protection is made up of incredible staff, carers and volunteers working together to ensure the safety and well-being of our children and young people. People across South Australia all play their part in child protection. Wherever possible, we work to support families to stay together safely. We go into their home and try and talk directly with them and with their families to try and work out what it is they need to stay at home safely. When difficulties arise, we respond to emergencies and ensure the safety of children and young people. You know, I'm um, making sure that my people are okay um, by you know, providing uh, training and education, making sure that the working relationships that we have um, are being built upon, making victim contacts with those victims that need to be contacted and referred to other services, uh, and just bringing basically together a, a coordinated approach um, to what we do. We work on the front line to ensure the safety of South Australian children and young people. When children come into care, we do everything we can to ensure their well-being. Firstly, I want them to, uh, the experiences with me is to know that I'm, um, they're feeling safe. It's about them connecting to their culture, their homeland, where they come from. With the help of our local partner agencies, we work collaboratively to support vulnerable families to keep their children safe. Our non-government partners play a critical role, making a difference in the lives of children and young people in care. So of all the services that we provide, our priority focus is to support families, to support their children. I think it's really important to ensure that children have the best opportunity in life. And the way that we can do that is to ensure that our communities and our families um, have the very best supports to be able to do that. For me, I think the mo most important thing we can give children that we work with, no matter who they are, is a sense of self and a sense of value. Look, I think we have a significant impact in that we make the impossible possible by keeping many families together. And in times where they can't stay together, we have a dedicated, skilled, carer, heart-filled group that provides safe and caring homes for children. We research what works best to support vulnerable families and children and young people. We work with policymakers, practitioners and the community to fill knowledge gaps, to develop new solutions, identify what works and work alongside policymakers and practitioners to implement evidence into practice. Yeah, if you just publish research you don't change lives. <laughs> we provide cultural advice and support for people in care from all backgrounds. So within the multicultural services, we work primarily with families from culturally and linguistically diverse backgrounds because as we know that these families who come to Australia, family plays a big part in their role and passionate as a migrant myself to be able to do child protection work. We are Aboriginal leaders who help make sure our First Nations children and young people in care grow up strong in family, community and culture. I also share that with my colleagues that I work with so that they have a different lens across um, the families that we're working with and we're not all the same and that we all come with different experiences. And our primary function is to um, work with families, work with children, ensuring that uh, Aboriginal children across the state are safe and that their wellbeing is being supported and that wherever possible Aboriginal children can go home to kinship, to family, to community. I think it's absolutely vital that we have Aboriginal organisations doing this bit of business. We ensure every child in care can access the right supports for their wellbeing, disability and health. You get to see a whole variety of kids, some of whom have had troubled and difficult lives, some of whom are now um, working through that process and some of whom are now looking at the future and again they're able to smile, they're able to come, they're able to feel as though they're treated in exactly the same manner as everyone else and they have all the opportunities and responsibilities. I got into medicine to be in a position to be able to make a difference for people and I've always had an interest in working in paediatrics particularly to work with those who often don't have a voice. That is rewarding to know where children have come from and their early um, exposure to trauma um, and where they are now so often it's good for us as guests um, professionally to see that children are safe and well cared for. 
we invest in children and young people in care as our future leaders. So we make a difference by promoting trauma-informed practice principles at schools. Schools do face challenges about young people um, connecting with education. We're there to really encourage them to not give up on them because that young person's got that right to um, reach their full potential and has a right to be educated. So if you like, our first position is there is a place for everybody in one of our schools. And our second position then is how do we work with each of those young people and with their families to ensure that their experience of education is successful and lifelong. Incredibly proud of our schools who opened themselves up to those young people and said, yeah, there's a place for you here. We look after our families when they need extra help and support. Grandparents of my culture, which is Aboriginal, I'm a Noongar grandmother. I do it because I have to step up and raise my four grandchildren. Um, I found the journey's been a lot easier to have a kinship care worker that I can trust and build a rapport with. We're doing the same job. We're working as a team. These, these guys are the real stars. They're, they're the ones that you know, do an amazing job under challenging circumstances. Um, and, they, and they do it because they love the kids. We open our hearts and our homes when children and young people need it most. Uh, I'm a foster parent because I just want to give back to the community and um, give the kids a safe place to live while they work out where they're going to go long term. Um, we form huge connections with the kids that we foster. Um, they're in your daily life every day and um, you're helping them to grow, you're watching their milestones and yeah you do form a huge connection but you also want to see them go home or somewhere safe long term and that's the ultimate goal really. We are committed to having a voice and improving the child protection system for future generations. No Case to Change is really an organisation that helps young people in, in uh, need and lifts them up. Well, I guess we are still young people, um, so speaking up um, gives us the opportunity to sort of be heard that we didn't have a voice before. So. Helping young people is just in our blood. We've, we've gone through the bad stuff, so we don't want anyone else to go through it. We are child protection. 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 Are child protection. Together, we are making a difference for our children and young people.